Welcome to Inktober and my first ever Zentangle. Today I'm going to be showing you how I inked this raccoon and in the last part how I even used watercolor on it. So for the supplies that you will need, you will need two ink pens because I think you're going to paint with me and one white gel pen. I'm also using Aquarelle Canson paper. It doesn't take a lot of water so if you're planning to paint a lot I wouldn't use this but it's okay for sketching and some paint. I'm using Daniel Smith. Okay, so let's get to it. First of all, I kind of draw out an outline of what the raccoon is that I'm going to be drawing. After I get the raccoon's silhouette down and the position of the little paws, which was the hardest part, then I started imagining how the fur could be kind of looped out or to give it some fur texture along the silhouette. Once that's done, it's just necessary to put in the face and to start considering where the primary features are. Are you going to put in the raccoon's striped tail or are you going to put in fur texture or what exactly are you going to be doing? And so I started imagining how the texture of the fur would be lying and that's how I zentangled. So let me turn on some music and you can watch. Or better yet, pick up some pens and brushes and draw and paint along. Oh, by the way, and this is Cheryl, the artist of Animal Art by Terracotta, and I thoroughly love giving tutorials on animals, and I will give more. And this will come out later as a full tutorial. Look forward to it. that this painting or this picture is in two parts. We have the drawing element and then we have the painting element. And a little bit about my painting style, I tend to use light glazes. I glaze with one color and I'll try to blend in some colors and add another color later on top of it. And this creates a lot of light refraction that is different. It's not just one color on top of the same color which is, I think, one of the principles of having a really visually dynamic painting. So the colors that I'm using are Daniel Smith, 
I used Moon Glow, Prussian Blue, Raw Umber, Quin Sienna, which is that orange that's just delightful. I think I used a little Quin Gold, Raw Sienna, and, and for my greens in the background, I used Undersea Green, Green Appetite, and a lot of Rose Dory, which is Windsor and Newton, and that Rose Dory is for the little puppy. Okay, so this gives you an idea of how I painted, and I hope you can enjoy now the painting process.